Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Show on this bright and sunny Thursday morning. I hope yours is starting out magically. It's going to get a little more magical once again, two days in a row, because today we are going to announce the new contest that starts tomorrow. And it will run until the first day of summer on June the 21st. So it's about a week more than the last contest because there's a little more added to it that might take a might take a wee bit of time. <laughs> but first, let's check the mail. We have another one of the goals that has been met. I guess it was the path ones. I didn't collect the last one, so let's see. Can I claim these? Just... See again. Uh, what is up with you, Game Loft? Why can't I claim anything? I don't know what their problem is, but okay. Is my inventory full? That's why. It's not it's not their fault. It's my bad. My inventory is full, so scratch that. Not your fault, Game Loft. I'm sorry for being so uh insensitive. <laughs> when it's my fault. Alright, I claimed it. I owned it. Let's get past it. <laughs> my inventory is full. Um so yeah, we're going to do the new contest. Talking about the old contest, we had uh, Christy Crow won the trivia contest, and we had a tie with Holly Larson and Christy on, like gives me the, uh, on the keyword contest. But uh, Holly Larson, I see I have a comment from you that you were waiting for the video. I have a, uh, a message for you waiting on Facebook. If you could please check your Facebook messages. Before we uh, we move on to any kind of video, there has been an offer made. <laughs> so if you can please go to uh, the Facebook messages, uh, then we will go from there and check those messages. Holly Larson. Uh, so we have um, the new contest starting, and I'm going to explain it right now. It's going to be pretty quick. New contest is going to entail a uh, uh, $200... Um, reward like a gift card again for the same thing PlayStation Xbox uh, what was the other one Nintendo or the Steam store you get one one two hundred dollar card uh, if you win the contest and then if we reach 2,500 subscribers right now we're sitting at um, let's see 1843 if we reach 2,500 subscribers by June 21st, I will add another $100 onto that reward. So $300 if we reach 2,500 subscribers. So that means you guys got to share. And uh, you got to get the videos out there, get people to come in and hang out with us and have fun with us and play trivia with us and all that stuff. So I'm going to take the keyword contest and the trivia contest and they will be combined. So you will no longer get separate points for trivia and keyword. It will all be added to your uh, your score. So if you watch the videos, if you play trivia, you'll get the points. If you don't watch the videos but you only uh, play trivia, you won't get the points for keywords. All one now, okay? There's no two separate keyword and trivia contest, okay? Uh, I have to say two things when it comes to the contest. Number one, this is not at all supported or sanctioned by YouTube in any way. YouTube has nothing to do with this contest. They are not affiliated with this contest. So you, I have to say that legally. <laughs> they, YouTube has got absolutely nothing to do with this contest on this channel. Uh, also, the um, uh, I can disqualify, I can end the contest, I can do anything I want with the contest. I can change whatever I want at my discretion this is my contest and if i feel like a player uh you know i haven't done it <laughs> i haven't done it. i've never disqualified anyone but i make the rules for the contest so i can change them at any time that i see uh that it's needed so uh by playing the contest you accept that you know that rule uh, you accept the terms of this, and that is that I can change it, I can end it, I can disqualify a, a player for any reason that I see uh, necessary. So, like I said, I've never done it, but uh, that's just, I have to say that stuff. And if you play the game, 
that means you accept those rules. Uh, so that is, that's the legal stuff, everyone. So, but we've never had any problems. Everyone here has been awesome playing the game, but it's mainly for newcomers who don't know about the channel. And we hopefully will get some 25 up to 2,500. Uh, if we get 2,500 by June 21, the first day of summer, we will have uh, an extra hundred dollars, so three hundred dollars. And I'm gonna see about getting or adding an Amazon reward uh, as an option because I don't know how it works, um, <clears throat> but uh, I'm gonna see how that works. Uh, and if I can, if I can indeed with ease implement an Amazon card, I will. No promises. I'm gonna. I have a while, so you know I have to do the research on it though, because uh, I have to keep myself safe too. I don't want an option where I have to hand out like, you know, um, my home address and my phone number and stuff to uh, to people on the internet. It's not that I don't trust you guys, but there are some people out there that don't like me. <laughs> you know, I get I get their you know their words all the time. Uh, you know, uh, in comments I get their. You know their grievances and their hate and their trolling. So, yes, I love you guys. So it's not, I don't want you to think I don't trust you all with my, you know, with my address. But they're just there's that there's always that one person, right? There's you just never know. So I have to be very careful with the information that uh, is out there that I put out there. So uh, this is the internet after all, and we all need to be careful. You need to be careful too, right? Uh, so and uh, but we'll see. We'll see how I can do that and still you know remain safe <laughs> uh so that is the announcement for today so it's going to start tomorrow uh with jedi survivor oh i'm so excited i can't wait to play star wars i cannot wait to play the new uh survivor game uh we're going to be playing that we're going to be playing uh uh the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom but and i've been telling um NeoJet that I'm, I was going to play Splatoon with her and her mother and anyone else that wants to join uh, before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. I'm going to do that. I'm going to use that as a test. I'm actually going to put that video up. We're going to play some, uh, hopefully in the next week, before, well, at least before Tears of Kingdom of the, uh, of the Kingdom comes out. We're going to be putting up a test video. I'm going to test it. I'm going to uh, test my capture card to make sure it, uh, it runs right, to make sure that I get uh, some really good frame rates, etc., etc., etc. And then I'm going to record that video of the matches that I do with um, with the people from the channel, and I'm going to put it up. I'm going to put it up and see how it works, see how it runs on YouTube because it's my first time doing Switch uh, um, content, so that will be coming soon. I have to uh, I have to get uh, my computer hooked up for the capture card, and I have to kind of move it around because my uh, switch and my um, computer are not in the same area, so I have to move things around. It'd be cool if you could hook it up to the handheld part of the switch. Maybe you can. I wonder if you can. I wonder if I can bring the handheld over and record it on that. That'd be really cool. But we will see. I don't think that's how it works because most of the USB plugins and HDMI stuff are on the main, uh, the main switch um, base, you know, not the handheld. But we'll see how it works. I'll figure it out before Tears of the Kingdom comes out, and we will be, uh, we will be broadcasting that. Uh, we'll have content on Tears of the Kingdom. I'm so excited for that. I hope I have Survivor beat by the. I never beat any of these games, so I'm. Um, whatever and it's gonna be what it's gonna be but we will see that on may 12th which is coming very very quickly so i will be doing that with neojet hopefully we can arrange something this week at some point all right that is it for the announcements today for the new uh contest i hope you guys have fun it's always meant to be fun. Please do not take it any other way. But if you're, you know, you, ha you have to have fun. You have to go into it with the uh, with the mindset that it's all for fun. And uh, we'll, as long as it remains that way, we'll keep on having contests. Uh, because uh, I'm enjoying it. I mean, at the end, it's a little bit hectic sometimes. But, you know, it's a lot of counting. <laughs> but that's fine with me. All right, let's get to comments. We don't have any trivia because we didn't do trivia. We're going to do trivia right now 
for tomorrow to start off the uh, the new um, contest. I am one of but first, let's get to the dogs today. The dogs, please go to my Twitter, my Facebook, and share. I cannot believe that this dog, Dash, in NYC ACC, his name is Dash. He's a Lassa Apso. I hope I pronounced that right. A Lassa Apso. He's the cutest little dog I have seen. He reminds me kind of like Toto in uh, The Wizard of Oz, but maybe a little hairier with Toto. He's so cute. I can't believe that people have passed this dog up. Today could be his last day. He's a year old. He is number 169131. Please, someone save this little dog. He is so cute. I can't believe that he's been shared a lot. A lot. Uh, it's got 2,000 views, and I can't believe no one has has adopted this dog. I think he's a purebred. Uh, his name's Dash. Again, he's number one six nine one three one. He was an owner surrender. He's only 16 pounds. He's a beautiful little dog. He says he uh, he had kids, and I guess he that he nipped one of the kids. You know what? Families that put their dog who have who have kids. Small kids uh, and small dogs and you know, even large dogs. Kids are brutal on animals. Kids are brutal, okay? And the thing is, is that a child, I mean, I've seen these parents who, you know, who post all these pictures on social media of their kids laying on their dog and riding their dog you know they take little babies and they nestle them into you know onto the bellies of their dogs that are sleeping on the bed or something what are you people doing are you crazy i mean it's like you're asking for trouble you're asking for trouble and if you've ever seen a toddler a toddler will pull on ears pull on hair poke at eyes pull tails if you're letting your children do this and then your dog nips your kid or even bites your kid, it's your fault as a parent. It's not the dog's fault. The dog is just defending itself. If, you know, what if um, a stranger came up to you and pulled your hair and poked you in the eye, kicked you in the shin? Would you defend yourself or would you just stand there? You know? <laughs> so the first thing they do is they blame the dog. And that's what happened with this little guy. Uh, with this little guy, Dash. His family, uh, obviously it says they have kids. One of the kids probably yanked on the dog or, you know, hurt the dog. And the dog nipped him. Because that's the only thing they, that's the only defense a dog has. And that wound him up inside of a high kill shelter. What kind of a family is that? What kind of people are you to do that? Blame yourself. Blame yourself. You should not let your little kids play with dogs. You're, I mean, you know, you have a toddler that is eye to eye with a land shark, okay? Eye to eye with a mouth with teeth. And you let your, you know, your kids play around with them without any kind of supervision. They, you know, they jump on the dog, they ride the dog, they... So it's your fault as a parent if your kid gets bit. It's your fault. It's not the dog's fault. All right. I mean, maybe I, I've never seen an instance where a family dog just walks up to a kid and, you know, and bites it. I've seen a lot of them where the kid has beat the dog and harassed the dog and tortured the dog where the dog will bite the kid. Yeah. But whose fault is that in the end? <laughs> That's not the dog's fault. I hate to tell you. I hate to bring this, uh, you know, this breaking news to you, this news flash. But that's not the dog's fault. That's the parent's fault. You are at fault. You belong in the shelter. You belong on the uh, euthanasia list because you're not smart. <laughs> you're not a smart parent. All right. It's your fault. You let your kids harass a dog, and now you blame the dog. So that's total stupidity on your part, not the dog. So let's get past that. So anyway, Dash is there, please. Someone, I mean, someone's got to want this dog. He's beautiful. He's tiny, he's cute, and he's, oh, he's so cute. So please, share him. If you want him, call the NYCACC. If you know someone that wants uh, uh, Lhasa Apso, 
call, you know, tell them to call NYCC today, like now, because, you know, they're pretty slow at NYCCC. They're pretty slow. So, uh, please try to save him. And the other dogs are there, too. There's a dog. Uh, what do we have? I have, I saw one here earlier, too. We have a dog in um, named Woody. And he was not, where is he at? I wish they put, would put the address on these things. Woody, six months old, has no don, has no donations, no foster. But where is he at? He's at Apple Valley. I think that's California, I want to say, Apple Valley. Uh, I want to say he's in, I, I want to say California. But here's the number for him anyway. He's a beautiful dog. He's on my Twitter if you want to see what he looks like. The number to call is 760. Uh, where is that? Let me just look up that area code. 760 is, I'm thinking this is California. Uh, 760, search. 760, it is in California. Okay, so that's Apple Valley. That's, I think I remember this place, and they're not a very good shelter. Uh, I don't even call them shelters. You know, they're just, it's, you know, it's a killing floor in these places. Um, he's on the list today. Uh, 760 is the area code 240-7555, extension 7519. He looks like a shepherd mix. Very cute dog. His name's Woody. He's number 228126. Go to my Twitter to share him or to foster or to adopt him. He's beautiful. All these dogs, they don't belong here. They don't belong here. It's just a horrible thing. So please, share those, everyone. I'm going to stop talking because the longer I talk, the less time I take away from people sharing. So we got a comment today. Comment, question, uh, critique. We got uh, one from Pink Rose. It says, awesome, on the quick round of ranked multiplayer. Speedstorm. Now, I just got an update from Speedstorm, and it's also on their social media, that they have stabilized, they have done some hot fixes and stabilized the platform. So hopefully now it will stop crashing. It was crashing left and right. After every match, It uh, when it went to the, uh, you know, when you ended the race, and it went to the loadout screen where it will tell your score and how you placed, it would crash every time, and it would take my video with it. So I'm glad, hopefully, they have that stabilized. So we're going to try. Because I was having to upload one race at a time. And that's just monotonous. One race at a time. It's like three minutes. Uh, and then it's over. I mean, it's great if you want to watch a short video. Uh, but otherwise, uh, you know, I'd rather have the whole chapter up there. So people can watch the whole chapter. And I timestamp them. So if you want to watch race number three, whatever. You'll, you just, you know, I usually timestamp my videos so people don't have to, you know, they can pick and choose what they want to watch. Or if they want to watch the whole thing, they just watch the whole thing. It's simple as that. Um, Pink World says on round of ranked multiplayer says awesome. Yeah, ranked multiplayer is, is fun. It's really fun. Uh, Red K says I happen to like that movie. I think he's talking about uh, Batman and Robin. And I was sad when I found out everyone hated it. I even had the Batman and Robin soundtrack that I unfortunately lost when we moved when I was a kid. Okay, so you were a kid. So you saw it through a kid's eye. So I think a lot of people who trashed that movie were probably, you know, older fans of if Batman that really... Um, to that I say this about every movie. I think every movie has one part, one at least one redeeming quality about it that we like. I mean, from every movie that I've seen, I can probably, even, you know, from like a Batman and Robin, I can probably pick out a scene that I enjoyed that I thought was great. Uh, there was one, I'm not sure which one of the Batman movies, I think it was from um, Batman and Robin with uh, George Clooney, where George Clooney is having... Um, a talk with Alfred, who's who's ailing. I'm not sure if he was dying or whatnot, but he was sick and in bed. And it was a heartfelt moment between um, Bruce Wayne and Alfred. And he's like, uh, he's like, I think Clooney was like, I love you, old man. And I just thought it was so heartfelt. So there's always these, you know, these moments in these movies that really grab me. So it's not like I hated the movie, but it's just, you know, the whole thing with like the, um, 
uh, I'm not sure of which one it was in. It was either in the Val Kilmer one or the George Clooney one, where they had the close up of like the chest on the girl, and they had, you know, and the butts and stuff. I'm like, what is this for? Why are they doing this? You know, when they had like the close up of the suits, uh, where it had like a shot of the suits, and it like emphasized uh, like their butt shots, and uh, I think they put some, you know, some nipples on the co- on the costumes and stuff. And that's like, why is this? Why are you having this in this movie? That's ridiculous. You know, I, that's the part I, uh, that I really did not like. So listen to that little voice that's what I'm talking about. Uh, thank you, Red K. Red K says, congratulations to everyone for the winners yesterday. Uh, Christy Crow says, Clooney does not make a good Batman, I don't think. But yes, Bale was awesome. George Clooney was there. He had the right, I think George Clooney had the right look for what you think of as Bruce Wayne. I think um, Ben Affleck has the right look for Bruce Wayne. He has that square jaw, right? Michael Keaton, not so much, but he was a good Bruce Wayne. <laughs> he still was, but he was quirky. But Clooney and Affleck have that square jaw that look like the comics, uh, of you know, the comic version of Batman. So, yeah. Uh, Christy Curl says, uh, my husky has a friend she hangs out with at the park. Her mama, who is 78 years old, told me that she had no idea what would happen to her if something happened to her. So she doesn't have any plan for her dog. Uh, I told her the dogs get along so well I would take her, even if it is just a hospital stay and she can take her back. Oh, that's nice of you, Christy. She's putting it in her will. Her daughter does not handle the pup well so she would end up in the shelter if i don't take her in the end oh, okay oh my dogs are barking someone's probably in the yard uh okay that's awesome so hopefully she will find someone that will do that uh that will take her dog i think someone's in my yard you're gonna have to hear my dogs bark in the background uh chrissy says happy birthday to me yay six days i get an early an early birthday gift from you. Haha, ha. it will be Speedstorm. Oh, right on. I'm glad you're going to play some Speedstorm with your winnings. Christy Crow says, I sent you a message. I did get that message, and I am waiting on a reply. Christy Crow was, says, this was fun, I have to say. All right, I'm glad you had fun. Christy says, oh, no, I'm not sure how I missed one word in that video. Oh, I know that last one. It must have been the one I got three. I remember you said three or four. Yeah, it could have been. It was Boost. Shauna Rice says, Yesterday when you mentioned the sheepdog Cody, who was removed from the list. He was a herding dog, actually. Uh, he was removed from the list, sadly. Yeah, that one really hurt me. He was It really hit me. Uh, I got a bit emotional because my dog that passed away was a sheepdog named Cody. Wow. I miss him so much. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Shauna. Yeah, we all have those those terrible moments we know uh, you know what i lost my dog last year on may 8th and it's coming up on a year and it's real yeah it really you know they're our family there are there are babies you know my dogs are my babies and i lost one last year and i'm expecting it's going to be a hard day uh remembering what happened last may 8th uh when may 8th comes around this year uh raven M- mcgarvey says at gray main gaming gray main gaming <laughs> I did try placing it on top of Skull Rock. It wouldn't let me. Uh, good idea. Maybe I will try to place it on the beach like you did in your video. Yeah, I would do that. Thanks and wish me luck. Good luck. I hope you get it. Uh, Neil Jess says, good morning, gamers. Our time of day. Congratulations, Christy Crow. Oh, awesome. She just congratulated Christy. There you go, Christy. You should get Splatoon 3 so we can play. We can all play together with Grayman if you have a Switch. I have an agenda. Here's my fr- here's my friend code. We're going to be using that soon, Neo Jet. We get a within the next week. I'm glad I got 260 points. You did very very nice job. Good luck to both of you in the tiebreaker. Have a magical Christmas day. Have a great holiday, Christy. Uh, Holly Larson says I waited all day. I have a message for you. Uh, waiting in Facebook. That's what I was waiting on. Thought you would check it. Uh, so it's there. So please check that, Holly Larson, and then we will go from there. If we need to do the tiebreaker, I will do it today. Uh, saw your figment video race. It is now 11 p.m. My 
bedtime. Sorry to hear you're still having issues with the crashing at the end of the races. Has to be very annoying. It is very annoying. Hope you have a better day today, Thursday, nighty night. Thank you, Holly. I appreciate that. Please, please check your Facebook. Pink Rose commenting on how to make marvelous jam says cool. Pink Rose says how to make sweet udon. Very helpful. Well, I'm glad I helped you make all these. How to make ice, how to make dream ice cream? Yummy ice cream. Yes. Spring chocolate. Woohoo! Chocolate's always good. All the recipes are done except for Dream Fizz, which they haven't fixed yet. They haven't hot fixed it. It still turns into the marvelous jam. So hopefully they'll fix that soon. And the last question of the day uh, is from Pink Rose. Last comment. Says, good morning. Congratulations to the winner. By the way, I finally finished all the new recipes in Quest. The Dream Trees are beautiful. They are very nice looking. Have a magical day. You too, Pink Rose. Also, I was thinking, if you don't have it already, if uh, if you can, why don't you get a Star Wars trivia game? I do have that to help you with your questions or movie trivia game. Yep, I do have the Star Wars. In fact, today's question, I, you're, I'm glad you reminded me. I almost forgot it. Question that's going to start off our new contest for today is, who made C-3PO? Who put C-3PO together? Who's the person that made assembled C-3PO in the Star Wars movies. That is today's trivia question. All right, let's go up to Screw the Shop really quickly. I got someone outside <laughs> waiting to come in. I'm going to have to do this really fast. Sorry to rush you guys, but it ha doesn't that happen all the time that way. You start making a video and someone shows up. I don't have any dream fruit here today. No dream fruit. All right. Today for the forty thousand dollar showcase window, we've got futuristic blue jumpsuit from Wally. That's a lot of cannolis. Sixteen thousand. Bye bye. Three thousand for the black long sleeve gown. Thank you kindly. Seven fifty Hello. for the blue ankle socks. Uh, hmm. Goodbye now. Toodaloo. Twenty two hundred for the decontamination pack from Monsters Inc. Bye bye now. Six thousand for the pink pearls of freedom necklace. Cinderella. Thank you kindly. 10,000 for the yellow aviator goggles from Wally. -E. Goodbye now. 390 for the gray bootcut jeans. Bye bye. 12,000 for the blue eco suit from Wally. -E. Oh, yeah. Fifteen hundred oh, for the green flannel the jacket. Bye bye. Five twenty-eight oh. for the white double door counter with black marble top. Ah. Thank you kindly. Thirty-two hundred for Thank the you, shelving Steve. unit. Wreck it, Ralph. Oh. Thank you kindly. 2040 for the bedside neon decoration from Mickey and Friends. Oh, yeah. Mark me words. A villain and 1800 for the wicker bar stool from Moana. It's wonderful how you're helping people. 765 for the two-headed death lamp from Monsters Inc. Thank you kindly. 324 Hello. for the phil uh, philodendron and a blue pot. Uh, hey, we didn't see the sea satchel today. It's <laughs> a good thing. Uh, 1125 for the large black that. modern couch. Oh. Bye bye now. Uh, 2720 oh, for the lantern garland from Tangled. Uh, thank you kindly. 
And last but not least, 4400 for the Icicle Dining Table from Frozen. That's Scrooge's Daily Inventory, everyone. Let us go outside and finish the show. Please remember that the contest now is trivia and keywords combined, so there's no separation. Uh, so you will need to do both to gain points. Uh, also, remember to share my videos, like them, comment on them, sh uh, share them with your friends, your family. The more we share, it could be an extra 100 bucks by the end of this contest. Uh, the contest will start tomorrow with the trivia question that I just gave you on Star Wars. That will be the first, and there will be keywords in tomorrow's videos. We're going to be starting Jedi Survivor. We're going to continue with Speedstorm, and we're also going to be doing, uh, when uh, Tears of the Kingdom come out, we're going to be doing, hopefully, be doing Zelda. So we have a lot of content coming up uh, that uh, you can watch and have fun with, and we can chat and have a great time. So I hope you do that. Please go to my Twitter, save some lives, go there, share, adopt, please. That cute little dog, Dash, he really needs a oh, He's so cute. So please, if you're looking for a Lhasa Apso, he's there, but not for much longer. I mean, you know this, you know these places. So thank you all for watching. I will see you on Jedi Survivor uh, overnight, and I will see you on Speedstorm today. And I will see you for sure on tomorrow's daily show. Please read the rules. You have to, if you play the game, you're accepting the rules. So please remember that. I want you to know that because I have to say it. So please read over the rules, and I will see you all tomorrow.